Welcome class. Today we're going to begin our study of fractions. Now to begin here, uh, we are going to just take a look at a couple examples of fractions and make sure that we are real clear about the definitions or the names of some parts of these fractions. So you'll need to make sure that you have your math notebook and a pencil handy. We're going to write a few notes down. So to begin with, let's take a look at this circle here. <clears throat> when we talk about this circle, we're talking about a whole circle. We might call that one circle. That's a pretty small line, isn't it? We call that one hole. So <clears throat> we don't have a one hole, though, here. Looks like if <laughs> maybe this were pizza or something, somebody took some of it. When we're trying to describe just how much is here, because this is if this is one hole, well, it's obvious that we don't have a hole here. Somebody took part of it. How would we describe the part that's left? So to begin with, we're going to actually just record how many <clears throat> how many pieces would it take to make a hole? If I were to count this piece and this piece. How many pieces would that take all together? Let's count together. It would take one, two pieces to make a hole. So I'm going to go ahead and write that down. It would take two pieces to make a hole. But I don't have two pieces here, do I? I only have one piece. Uh, the other part is missing. So I'm going to call that, I'm going to uh, record that on top here. One piece, that's how many pieces I have. This ended up kind of big. I'm going to shrink it down a little bit. <clears throat> and we have a special name for these two parts of a fraction. That's what we're going to learn a little bit about today. Now this top uh, number here, we call the numerator. It tells us the number of pieces we have, the numerator. Go ahead and record this in your math notebooks. Num, like number, numerator. That's an A. The numerator, that's an R. <clears throat> there we go. The numerator is how many? This number down here is called the denominator, denominator. And the denominator, you see how here how it takes two of these pieces to make this circle? The denominator tells us how big these pieces are going to be, or how many pieces it takes to make a whole. So we could, well, let's go ahead and record both of those things. One idea is how big. How big are the pieces? The other big idea here, the other idea here, is how many pieces make a whole? How many pieces make a whole? So make sure to record that in your notebook, too. How many pieces make a whole? That's this denominator here. So the numerator is on top. That is how many. We're going to use this language kind of over and over here. The denominator is on the bottom. That tells us how big the pieces are, or how many pieces it takes to make a Hole. Now, if it takes more pieces to make a hole, what will happen? Let's find out. All right, in this next example here, <clears throat> it takes more pieces to make a hole. Can you count how many pieces it takes to make a hole? I counted one, two, three, four. It takes four pieces 
to make a whole. So that is going to be our denominator. That's how many pieces make a whole or how big the pieces are. Now let's find this numerator. How many pieces do we actually have? I see that some pieces are missing, but how many pieces do we actually have in this circle? I see here that we have one piece. That's going to go on top. That is the numerator. So we're going to call this uh, number here. We have one out of four pieces. We call that one fourth. Notice here that we're adding a th to the end of the word four. So it's one out of four, and we call that one fourth. When we are making fractions, we add that th to the end. Let's take a look at another example here. All right, actually, I'm going to move this guy out of the way here. I'm not quite ready for that yet. Okay, looking at this piece here. Okay, so now I'd like you to try this one on your own a little bit. So what number is going to go here, do you suppose? How many pieces do we have? How many? How many pieces do you see? Let's take a look here. I see one, two, three pieces. So that's going to be our, do you, do you remember the name of that top number? It's called the numerator. Okay, now how about this number down here? What's that gonna be? How many pieces are there all together? Or how big are the pieces? How big are the pieces? How many pieces does it take to make a whole? Can you count all of these pieces together? I know they're not all here, but how many would it take to make a whole? One, two, three, four, five pieces make a whole. And lastly, fractions can take lots of different shapes. In this example, it's a triangle. Now, I'd like you to try both of these on your own for this one. So for this number, I'd like you to find the, those are question marks, questionable question marks. There we go. We've got a numerator and a denominator. What is the numerator and the denominator of this shape? How many pieces are there, and how many pieces would make a hole if they were all there? Let's take a look at it together. I count one, two pieces out of one, two, three pieces. So we would call this number two thirds. Now, sometimes we don't just have a fraction. Sometimes we have a, 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 a more than a whole. Let's take a look at what that would look like. What if I have this number here? Let's make sure it's filled all the way in here. What if I've got a number that looks like this? That's one, two, and what if I have a third one? Let's check that out. Cool. What if it's not all filled in though? What if it looks like this? All right, 
Can you count how many we have now? Now we've got one hole, another hole, and a fraction. What is this fraction here? That would be one, two pieces out of one, two, three pieces. Now if we add these two numbers together, that's one plus one, that would be two. So we'd write like this, two holes and two thirds. All right, so uh, you're going to be identifying fractions and uh, as well as mixed numbers, that's what we call this here. When we've got whole numbers and fractions, we call that a mixed number. I'm just going to write that down here real quick. I would record that in your math notebook as well, a mixed fraction has whole numbers as well as fractions. So we're going to do some practice identifying uh, fractions and mixed numbers uh, to get started this week. Just to review um, uh, fraction work before we start moving into uh, uh, some more challenging work.